on him. They had a little meeting and tried to make fun of him. Forget it. I knew he was solid, and Kevin McCarthy, and Cantor, and Paul Ryan, and the whole crew. This Republican Congress is getting better every day, and they did it today. <laughs> or maybe yesterday. I can't remember. I think it was today. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, that's PBS, NBR, I believe, all that kind of, uh, in my personal opinion, that's all my personal opinion, all his personal opinion, all of our personal opinion, not legend, any fact, testing, aspersion, check the disclaimers, it applies to everything around and related to or touching this video in any way, tangential or otherwise, you know that, including the comments. Now, they defunded the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Paul, give us the details with this. And we're going to start the celebration right now. The details are this. Right, today, Saturday, February 19th, 2011. Free on the United States House of Representatives, uh, in, uh, Congress that is, the House side of Congress, voted to defund, I believe, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which I think is, is the... That is the overarching entity that controls NPR and PBS and whatever. This is on the heels of the, the what many felt was the wrongful firing of Juan Williams that was by wrong. NPR. Uh, this is a lot of people are gonna look at this as kind of like justice. Yes. Not only because of what happened to Juan Williams, but because that they believe that NPR and PBS have an anti-conservative bias. Ooh, and it's one thing to have an anti-conservative bias if you're a private corporation. It's another thing to have it if the taxpayers are paying you to have that bias. I don't want to fund that. Huge victory for people around the country that are tired of, of, of what they thought was the, uh, the stilted coverage mm. by these companies. Yeah, exactly. PBS has frontline. Do you think that they would ever have, I don't know, the Rush Limbaugh line or Hannity line or Fox line? I don't think so. And again, we've seen this, this stuff with NPR and what happened to Juan Williams. I didn't like it. I didn't think it went down right. And the whole nine yards. And the bottom line is MP, uh, NPR, PBS, uh, a CPB, whatever. They can be whatever they want to be. Just do it with your private dollars. Get all your liberals together, whether it's Barbara Streisand or uh, Nancy Pelosi or whoever. You raise a bunch of money. You, you put it in there. You do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? We don't get public money, whatever, to do what we do. We do what we do. And we have an audience out there and businesses and people that like what we do. And that's the whole nine yards. If you're good, you should be able to do your own thing. That's it. We don't need public funding the media. And I don't trust that anyway. That's my personal opinion. What do you think is going to be the impact on, first of all, do you believe this is going to pass? In other words, will, will the budget go through, will we sign, will we have a government shutdown, all that type of stuff. Secondly, what kind of impact on the election of 2012 do you think this is going to be, and what is this going to do to the liberal MSM in our personal opinion? Uh, in terms of whether this will pass or not, yeah, I'm not sure, because we talked about this uh, off video um, a couple hours ago, I think. It's basically like, look, and I, I asked you the question, look, is this how government shutdowns occur and stuff, you know, over, over budget matters? And you're like, yeah. The, and it's like, you know, the, the question becomes, what's the threshold? How many of these things that Democrats object to would President Obama or the Senate say, you know what, these things are so egregious that we can't pass the entire budget that keeps the government running? Like, do they, in other words... Is it important enough for them, the, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, that they shut down the entire government for that? I guess we're going to find out about that. Yeah. My guess is that it won't be, that they will pass it with these budget cuts, but we'll find out. Now, in terms of 2012, uh, I don't know what these cuts are going to have, ex except that it will send a notice, it will send a message, particularly if these things pass, to other publicly funded organizations to say, look, you better control, you know, better make, try really hard to not be biased, to have a diversity of opinions, or else you might get defunded too. And again, we're not against free speech or anything like that. This is the, the difference between I we're pay for speech. it right. as a taxpayer and you're paying for it as a private company. You know, if you, again, anybody do whatever you want privately, if you're asking the nation to pay for it, 
that's a different thing. That's a different thing. You know what? If in my personal opinion, PBS was legit, McNeil Lair should have us on as commentators. We'll go head to head with Mark Shields, the whole situation. We can have our own show there, the conservative new media, half hour or hour, and we'll spin it, and then we can start getting some balance to this whole situation. Hey, I hope this thing passes. I don't know, it's gonna be very interesting. Thing is, is they, how many people really listen to the NPR or PBS anymore? They've got an audience for sure, but I mean, eh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how I mean look. I like this move, no matter what, the Republicans did the right thing. And then we see what happens over there. And listen, if there's a government shutdown, I think people are going to blame Obama. This guy says he's all about compromise and being a centrist. Prove it. He's all about cutting the budget. Prove it. He's all about being, you know, job number one. Prove it, dude. And we'll find out. Are you about, you know, jobs and fairness and getting things done and, and bipartisanship? Or you're about politics? That's what I want to know. CPB, Corporation Public Broadcasting, has been defunded by the Republicans in their budget. Will it pass? Will it not pass? Are you happy about it? Are you celebrating like we are celebrating? What's up with that? You tell me what's going down. And now maybe the Democrats can start seeing what's going on and, and PBS can start looking at what's going on. And that's what I'm saying. I'm with the comments below. Subscribe above. I'm John D. Valero. That is Paul. We are Conservative New Media and we say big props to the Republican-led Congress and John Boehner, Speaker Boehner. Love it.